All right, so this is a video on uh, my T-Rex arm sidecar holster. Uh, have it on right here. I've carried this holster for about two years now. I bought it in September 2015. I probably got it early October. So ever since then, pretty much every day, I've carried this holster for maybe six, seven, eight hours every day. Uh, I've done road trips with it, uh, using it every day at work, uh, out shooting, wearing it with a plate carrier, shooting prone, all that good stuff. A lot of stuff, shooting for vehicles. Uh, really, really cool holster. So right now I have it with the Glock 17L. It's made for the Glock 19, but as you can see, it fits the 17L just fine. I've also tried this with the 17 and 34, no issues. It's just the, uh, you know, the barrel extends past the uh, little uh, bottom part of the holster. I've also used it with compensated 19s, 19s with threaded barrels, all that stuff. It works fine. Uh, so here it is, 17L. Got it fit for the uh, X300 Alpha model. With the Glock 19, this one has the Bravo model, Surefire, so it has the screw. This particular holster is not made for this uh, light, so every once in a while you will get a little bit of a, uh, it gets stuck kind of going in. But once you get it in, no problem, it pulls out just fine. Uh, when you buy the holster, you can specify, I think, which uh, Surefire you have. Or actually, I think it, it's, they kind of make it for both now. Anyway, you can specify or, or, or it should work now, regardless of which flashlight you have. And if not, uh, you can always just let the screw dig out its own channel in the holster. Or if you want to, just take a file or something or a little tool and scratch out a little channel for the screw. That's all it is. But I mean, over time, it'll it'll dig itself a little channel. You can see the codex on the screw. Anyway, uh, so that's how it looks with the 19, the one it's made for. With the threaded barrel, you can kind of see the barrel. It's still recessed in the holster, so even with the threaded barrel, it barely just hangs out the bottom of the holster. So you shouldn't get burned or anything like that with the threaded barrel. With the compensator, it will stick out a little more, so watch out for that. Uh, let's put the 17L back. That's the one I'm carrying right now. Uh, as far as how it's held up over the two years, this is the same original holster. I've only replaced two things. One is the Raptor Claw right here. This piece uh, actually pushes against your belt, which uh, keeps your shirt from riding over the grip, if that makes any sense. Uh, what happened was, I guess, shooting prone and stuff and just constantly uh, having pressure against my belt, it developed two little cracks right here along the screws. So I just replaced that. Uh, they're $6 on the website, I believe, or you can just make one yourself out of Kydex. It's really, really simple. It's just a little arch piece of Kydex. Then the other thing I replaced were the uh, clips, the belt clips themselves. Uh, nothing was wrong with the original ones. It's just uh, a few months ago they uh, updated to these newer clips. I think they have a better, uh, better uh, curve part at the bottom, so they grab your belt a little better. Uh, but I had no issues with the original clips. Uh, what else? The rubber washers or spacers. All the rubber spacers are the originals. I've had no problems with those. The screws are fine and the rivets are fine. Uh, no cracks on the holster. So it's pretty much the exact same holster and it's it's running 100%. You just have to do a little maintenance every once in a while. Make sure the screws are tightened. Maybe check it once a week. Make sure all the screws are tightened and, and at the... Uh, uh, retention you desire. Uh, you can make it a lot looser than this or a lot tighter. All you do is just tighten up these two screws for the retention on the pistol and this one kind of works on the retention for the magazine right there. Uh, what else? There's really nothing much to say. It's a holster but definitely my favorite setup of all the holsters I've ever tried. This is by far my favorite. It goes on really easily. You know it goes off really easily. I've had no problems with the clips coming off of the belt. I know a lot of people hate clips they prefer soft loops or fixed loops but like i said running around shooting from vehicles with plate carriers on shooting prone all kind of stuff shooting at competitions i've never had a problem with the belt loops or the holster coming out of my pants or off the belt so i i don't know maybe i'm not you know shooting hard enough but let's do a little shooting on this your target i'll demonstrate drawing and stuff like that so what's good about the holster it's all right there you got your magazine the gun uh you don't really have to look down to reholster. So let's just see. When I like when I reholster, not reholster, when I draw, I grab above the gun, rip the shirt up, draw, and shoot. So let's see. So you can see, grab above, grab the gun, shoot.
So with the magazine being right there beside the gun, it's really easy to uh, put a new round in the chamber and get back on target. Anyway, so. I guess that's a bad thing. Piece of brass goes in your magazine caddy, can't reholster your magazine. But here's the holster completely open at the bottom so no brass can fall through. I mean, it can fall through, it cannot get stuck, which is nice. Brass does get stuck in there, like we just saw. But definitely recommend this holster. It's been awesome. Uh, T Rex Arms also makes a few other things. Uh, for example, their Orion belt and their inner belt. Bought these from them a few weeks ago. Really cool belt. I think they uh, partnered up with another company. I forgot their name, but this is their setup. Not with the pouches and everything. That's kind of my deal. But the belt's awesome. Uh, they use a their inner belt isn't really stiff, but it does come with a nice curb buckle. And they also just released I think yesterday, yesterday or the day before, a EDC belt called the Nova belt, and that's a nice stiff, you know, general purpose everyday carry belt. Has a curber buckle in the middle from what I've seen. I ordered it already. I don't have one. But it's kind of designed, or at least he said, Lucas, to fit with the sidecar holster. So the cover buckle is spaced enough to, uh, or the right size, I guess, to fit in the middle of the uh, clips for the sidecar. So now a lot of the other holsters, they might not fit in between the uh, clips or, or whatever. So I know some people have to put the buckle to the right or behind them to get it work with the sidecar. But not with that belt. So check out their stuff, T-Rex Arms. And yeah, that's about it.